Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and as you can tell, I have quite a lot of album cover paintings behind me, so today I'm going to show you how I made my most recent one. This is the album cover I chose to paint. It's by a band called Bad Sons. I've been listening to them a lot lately because I'm hoping to see them in October, so I feel like I need to be refreshed on their like music and everything well before. The design wasn't too complex, but because I'm in school, it took me way longer now than it would have over the summer. But anyways, let's get into it and I will show you how I made it. This is the album cover I'm going to be painting, and here it is after I laid a grid on top of it, just so that I have some sort of reference point. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas, so I just marked every three inches so that I can divide each side into fourths. Now that I have this, I can zoom in and compare it just so that I have all the proportions right, but I'm going to start sketching out the main design. Now that I have the basic design sketched out, I went in and erased some of the pencil that was going to be in the way, and now I'm going to fill in like the dark blues, light blues, and I guess yellowish, orangish colors that I see. Okay, it's literally been like two minutes and I only filled in one color, but I'm already getting impatient, so I'm gonna fill in the background instead. <laughs> I mixed this really bright like scarlet color. I used this shade of red and this shade of orange. This is the first coat done. I'm going to let it dry overnight and then go back in tomorrow and clean up my lines because they are not looking great right now, but I don't want to mess with anything while the paint is wet. It's now the next day and the red is completely dry and I gave it some thought and decided that before I clean up the red lines, I should definitely go in and block out the other colors. So I got all this paint from my basement and we're gonna see what I come up with. First I did navy blue and this is the color that I came up with. I just started off with this blue and added a little bit of gray and black. Next color I'm doing is light blue, which is mostly on this side of the painting, and I mixed it with these two. This is how it's looking so far. I'm doing like a tealish color next, mostly green, but I added a little bit of blue to it. I just mixed a really light orange by mixing this with a super light orange that I already had, which I assume was this in white, um, and I'll be filling that in down here and over on the left side. I just finished blocking out the rough idea for all the colors, so now I'm going to go around and clean up the lines with the red. I forgot to film most of it, but I have most of the second coat done. I kind of just need to do the blue and the light blue. The next thing I'm going to do is work on blending all of the colors on the inside of the design. I'm gonna start adding these tiny dark blue lines on the top and the sides, and then more of the detailing along the left side. I'm adding finishing touches right now, so I'm taking a super tiny brush and this same kind of light orange paint and really carefully tracing over the letters. I think I am getting pretty close to done. I might add a couple more finishing touches with the red, but I will see you once it's completely done. This is how it looks completely done. I think it turned out pretty cool, and I really like the details on the inside of the design. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be placing this one right here on my wall, and I'm going to have another one on the other side of this painting here to kind of balance it out, so that's probably what my next video is going to be, so if you're interested in seeing which one that is, stay tuned. I'm really excited for this next one because the style is not really anything I've done before, and it's also kind of complicated, but I really, really like how it looks and I'm gonna give it a shot. But that's for next week, so I'm gonna end this video here. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!